Hello friends, today we will uh, solve these three questions together. Uh, all are based on NAND gate. Uh, so first one is two input NAND gate and second one is three input NAND gate and four input NAND gate. Input waveforms are given to you. Now you have to find the output waveform for each case. Okay, for two input, for three input and for four input. Okay, so let's start doing this one. So before, before starting, please like and subscribe my channel. So this is the question. Uh, first one, uh, NAND gate is given to you. So our first task is to draw the truth table. Okay. So this is the truth table for NAND, NAND gate. So uh, 0, 0 combination will give you 1. Okay. Uh, 0, 1 combination will also give you 1. 1, 0 combination will also give you 1. The thing is you have to remember this one. You have to remember this point. Only this combination is giving means 1, 1 is giving you 0. When the both the inputs are 1, 1, then only you are getting 0. And rest of the all the cases, you are getting output 1. Okay. So, let's start doing this. So, A is 0 here. Okay. This is 1. So, let's find 1, 1 position. So, this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1. Okay. For A. Now, find where is B. So, B is 1 from here to here. Okay and 1 from here to here okay so 0 1 you know 0 1 you see 0 1 will give you 1 so let's start doing x let's this x this is 1 and this is 0 okay so 0 1 is giving you 1 okay so it, this is your 1 okay now at this position here a is 1 and b is 1 so this will become 0 okay and this will remain 0 till this value only okay till this point only because after this b, b has become 0 okay so this will again become 1 here okay this will again become 1 and it will remain 1 because b is 0 for this whole duration b is 0 so no need to worry about what is the value of a so this will remain 1 till this value okay now see b again become b again become 1 but a is 0 here but at this point this is 1 okay so this will remain 1 till this value because a is become 1 here so now 1 1 this combination we got so we it will again become 0 okay and it will remain 0 till this value only okay this a so a, this will be a. okay now you see here although b is 1 but a become 0 okay so this will again become 1 okay till this point here b become 0 okay so this will again become uh, Oh, sorry, yeah, B, sorry, uh, this is 0, okay, since this is 0, let me remove this one, okay, so now B has become 0 and A is also 0, so 0, 0 will give you 1, so this will remain 1, okay, and since B is 0 for whole duration, so this will remain 1, okay, so hope you got it, okay, so let's move to the uh, next one our uh, this question the uh, three input uh, three input gates so again we need to draw the uh, truth table for this one for three input so this is our truth table okay so for three input now you can see now you again need to check uh, what wh which combination is giving you zero so again we can check here you see here all three ones are giving you zero and rest of the combination if any one of the input is 0, so you are getting 1, okay. So, what you need to do, uh, if you start comparing each bit, okay, so it will take a lot of time. So, the best way is to pick first any, any input. So, let's start with A, okay. So, since we already know when all the inputs are, uh, what, all the inputs are 1, then you will get only 0. So, here you pick A and see A is 1 for this whole duration of time, okay. So, rest of the places output will be 1 if we talk about x okay so this is 1 
this is 1 and consider this is 0 ok so this will be 1 ok and for here we can also draw 1 like this because a is 0 now we need to check for this duration for this a1 ok so what we will do we will go for b ok we see b is 0 for this duration ok so again make it 1 because although a is 1 but b has become 0 and our truth table is taking, uh, telling us if any one of the input is 0 then the output will be 1 so here b is 0 so no need to go uh, check for c no need to go for c just check 1 and b now at this pulse a is 1 and b is also 1 now you need to check c so c is 0 okay since c is 0 so this will remain 1 okay now next pulse a is 1 b is 1 and c is 1 okay so this will all three are 1 so now this will become 0 okay and at this point at this point since we already drawn this one because a was 0 okay so this is 1 b is 1 but a was 0 okay so that's why it's become so this will become okay so this is the uh, shortest way if you uh, start comparing that uh, first one is a b c all are 0 0 then you check here okay this is 1 so you will draw 1 then 1 0 0 okay where is 1 0 0 so 1 0 0 1 so like this it will take a lot of time so the best way is just to find a conclusion from your truth table what is the conclusion as this uh, truth table is telling us that if any one of the input is 0 then the output will be 1 when all the inputs are 1 then only you are getting 0 so just pick any one of the input okay any one of the input and then start comparing first uh, compare with 1 then again 2 when you got your this condition that two inputs are 1 1 then only check for third one okay so this is the easy way to do okay guys so let's move to the our third problem so this is our third problem okay so again we will draw uh, the truth table for the four input gate so for four input gate since we already uh, done it for uh, two, two input and three input and we found that that only all four inputs are giving us zero okay so NAND gate uh, is a, a table uh, which don't vary much uh, for multiple inputs okay you need to for NAND one you need to remember that when all the inputs are one then only you are getting zero rest of the places you see all the places are giving you one all combination which means if any one of the input is zero then you will get output one okay so again we will uh, follow the three input one first we will check input a what is the condition of a so you can see a is zero here okay now it become one and it remain one one till this value one okay and it will again become zero here so let's draw the x so this is our x uh, this is one okay this is one and this is zero okay yeah so zero okay this is zero 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 okay so all zero zero will give you one so i already don't now you see one 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 okay so a has become one so now go and check what is the condition of b so b has become zero okay since we already know if any one of the input is zero then the output will be one okay now we got a is one and b is one so we will check our c okay now c has become zero so this will remain one okay now for next pulse a is one b is one but d is zero okay since d is zero so it will remain one okay for next pulse a is one b is one c is one and d is one okay and you see for this whole duration this is one for this whole duration c is also one and this is also one so the best so and one is also one for this whole duration so this will become zero because all the inputs for this duration all the inputs are one so this will become zero okay now let's go since a has become zero for whole duration so no need to worry about what is the condition of rest of the inputs no need to compare just make it one because if any one of the input is zero so you will get one so you can see a was zero then it become one it is zero okay so only for this duration you need to compare okay and rest of the duration no need to compare and you finally got your 
answer so this is your output uh, for the 4k input so guys i hope uh, you got it how to do two input three input four input nand gate although this is uh, not much variation because our two travel is same for nand gate if you go for the nor gate so the truth table is varying for two input three input and four bit you need to find the conclusion for the uh, nor gate so hopefully we will do it in uh, our next videos okay so guys thank you for watching and please do like and uh, do like subscribe and share my uh, videos thank you